Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate your 2023 to 2024 UK national insurance in Excel. Paying national insurance is based on a progressive system, meaning that if you have a higher income, then you pay a higher rate. What we want to do in this video is create a calculator which allows you to input your taxable income figure and automatically retrieve the annual national insurance payment. Before we start, I want to emphasize that I'm not a qualified accountant or advisor, and you should not use this video to substitute tax advice. We're going to start by calculating the inputs, which will first involve setting up a calculation table. Firstly, let's input the thresholds which apply in the UK. These are 0, 12,570 and 50,270. We'll also input the rates which correspond to these thresholds and these are 0, 12 and 2%. Next, we're going to calculate the insurance payable for each level of income. The insurance payable when our taxable income is zero is of course zero. The amount payable when our income is 12,570 is also zero, as the 12% rate only applies when the taxable income is 12,570 or greater. The amount payable when the taxable income is 50,270 is slightly trickier. Firstly, we take the amount payable in the previous band. We then add this to the difference between 50,270, which is the current threshold, and 12,570, which is the previous boundary. We then close brackets and multiply this by the applicable raise, which is 12%. Now that our calculation table is ready, we can use it to calculate our outputs. Our annual national insurance payments is the amount payable in the previous band plus the rate of the current band multiplied by the amount payable in the current band. We can find each of these using the VLOOKUP function. To find the amount payable in the previous bands, we type equals VLOOKUP we're looking up the taxable income, which is 43,000, within the table we just made, and we're looking to retrieve the value in the second column, which corresponds to the insurance payable, so we type 2, and finally we want it to be an approximate match, so we type 1. Since we've used an approximate match, Excel has retrieved the insurance payable which corresponds to the taxable income that is below our lookup value, which is 12,570, and therefore it's retrieved zero. To find the rate of the current band, we once again use the VLOOKUP function. The only difference now is that we're looking to retrieve the value in the third column, which corresponds to the rate. To find the amounts payable in the current band, we firstly take the taxable income and then use VLOOKUP to subtract 12,570, which is found in the first column of our table. We are given 30,430, which is indeed 43,000 minus 12,570. Now that we have the intermediary calculations, we can calculate the annual national insurance payment. This is the amount payable in the previous band plus the rates of the current band multiplied by the amount payable in the current band. So for a taxable income of £43,000, our annual national insurance payments is this figure here. We can now check whether our calculation works for a different figure. 
let's go for 55,000, which is above 50,270. The amount payable in the previous band is this figure, which is correct as per the table. The rate of the current band is 2%, which corresponds to the third column, and the amount payable in the current band is 4,730, which is indeed 55,000 minus 50,270. So that's how you can calculate your annual national insurance payments in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.